Hello everyone, today I will teach you how to create a grade point average calculator, a GPA calculator. We will use 10 modules as an example. The formula for GPA is GPA equal to the sum of open bracket individual grade point multiplied by individual credit close bracket divided by total credits. So first We'll break the 10 modules into two semesters. We will have it as a year one, semester one. The modules, the module codes are at CM1021, CM1031, CM8002, MH1800, TH1801. I'm going to merge this so that you can see it here. And this is semester, this is year one, semester two. Go wet these two cells. The module for semesters two are CE9001. CM1041, CM1051, HW0303, MH1801. There is M here. Credits. This is just an example. So Modules also have grades. Example B plus, B plus, maybe these are a B, A minus, a pass. So in some modules, some modules such as PH1801 is not included in the GPA calculation. So we also need to create a column included in GPA. Yes or no? As for this PH1801, we write no. Whereas for our other cell, we can put yes. And here, we'll input all the grades. So this are A. Pass, it's like, it's like a pass fill module. B plus. Yes. Yes, Lee is a yes. But if a P, it will be a no. And this one is a yes. Okay. So in this column, we will check. Okay, in this column, we will create two more credits and the grid point. Those modules that are not included in the GPA calculation, with a no here, will be excluded from the credit. So we will check. Equal to E, open bracket. The logic test will test for this one. Is equal to yes. If let's say it is equal to yes, we will want to include the module credit in the calculation. Otherwise, we will put a zero. That means we do not want to include the numbers in the calculation. See here? Because this is a past few module, we do not want to include this module in GPA calculation. So we put a zero. Likewise for the grade point. But we have, before we input the grade point, we have to translate from a grade to grade point by using a VLOOKUP. V lookup, lookup value for B plus in the table array column P and Q, column index number two, and this one must be a false. False. That means we want an exact match. Okay, now we get a great point. But problem is that this is an error. So we will do this. Condition if 
included in GPA is a yes. Then we will include the grade point using this part here. If it is not yes, if any other thing else I know, then we will put a zero at the bottom. That is code down to the zero. Okay, let's shift this over here. We have one column for semester GPA and one column for cumulative GPA. Semester GPA is equal to sum of you see here sum of individual grade point multiplied by individual credit. So we do a sum of grade point divided by sum of credit. Okay, sum of sorry this individual grade point multiplied by individual credit. Yes, so we need to multiply. Multiply by cell K six. Okay, so this is a semester GPA. However, the semester GPA has a lot of decimal place. So we have to trim it nicely. We have to make it neater. So we, we round round this number just to two decimal place. That will do the job. And then we merge it. Merge and center. Likewise for the bottom one. Just copy this over. Okay. For semester GPA, since this is a year one semester one module, it should be the same. So it is the same, cumulative GPA is the same, but for the semester two, it is different. But then we still copy over first. And now we modify. Instead of 30, we start from 6, so we do a 6. Change this to 6. And then merge it. Okay. So now you want to hide these two columns and test whether it actually works. Okay, let's make it nicer. Okay, so now I want to test whether it works. Example CM1031. Okay, let's see. Example, we want to change this to CM8002 to credit 3. And we want to change MH1800 to B plus. Okay, it's correct. 3.89. And now we want to change this M1041 to a B plus. Yes, it's working. For example, we put a fill here. Does it affect? It does not affect the GPA unless you put a yes. Then it will reduce the GPA. We put a no, it doesn't affect. If you change the credit here, it will affect the cumulative GPA here. 
but it will not affect here. Okay. So we realize that this is a one decimal plate, which is not very nice. So now we have to improve this by putting this formatting the text to a two decimal plate. And this is how you do it. For everything you can do, text. But if we do this, we can remove the round, the rounding, so that we can save some length of codes. Okay, we have come to the end of the lesson. Thank you for your attention.